Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning students Today we are going to discuss about asking and giving services The expression that is important for you to understand and to be able to use it First maybe we have to learn about uh, the intention of studying the lesson First The teacher hope that you can apply the social function, text structure, uh, written and spoken interpersonal text. Second, make written and spoken interpersonal text about the, expe the uh, expression of asking and giving services. There are some examples of how to respond to the expression of ask, give, reviews the services. The expressions are important matter ruled that oral communication in English can understand and know the manners in the language. To make the expression the services, there are two ways. General, uh, such as open the door please. Please come to my birthday party and polite. Can you open the door please? Could you please come to my birthday party? But in this uh, lesson, I would like to give you mostly uh, how if you want to ask uh, for the services uh, in general way. Before that, let's practice some pronunciation here. You just listen to me and repeat it after me. Extended family. Fantastic Preparation Decorate I'd love to Terrible Stomach Terrific Hurt Due date Initiatives Okay, now let's take a look at the dialogue about offering help or services. Read these dialogues, pay attention to the italicized expressions, answer the question that follow. First, dialogue one. Let me read the dialogue for you and please pay attention. There are three people in the room the doctor we call him as Dr. Nahda and Fafa and maybe uh, the woman in the pink blouse and the white veil is the nurse or the mother I don't know yeah. just pay attention to the dialogue hello hello doctor you look terrible what can I do for you? I can't go to school today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. What's the problem? My stomach hurts terribly. I think I have a fever as well. Okay, let me check your stomach. The doctor puts the stethoscope in Papa's belly and strike it lightly. Does it hurt here? Not that one. Here? Yes, that's really terrible. All right then. I'll give you a prescription. You have to take the pills three times a day, okay? Okay, doctor. Good. Get well soon, Fafa. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye, doctor. Okay. Now, you can take a look at this. Uh, the sentences or the statements. What can I do for you? Repeat after me. What, what can I do for you? The second is... What's the problem? The third is Okay, let me check your stomach Okay, now Let's see another example of expressions of asking and giving services For asking service, we can say Could you help me? Would you please help me to blah 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 would you mind helping me? 
Do you mind opening the window? Please open the window. Can you help me? Okay. There are one, two, three, four, five, six expressions about asking and giving services. This one are about asking services. Uh, the polite ways to asking for services is would you, could you, would you, do you mind, please, can't you. Okay. The polite ways, there are uh, five, at least five polite ways of asking services. The first is could you help me? The second is would you please? The third is would you mind? The fourth, do you mind opening the window? Please open the window and can't you help me to blah 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 is a uh, general way to ask a service. The response can be certainly, of course, never mind, all right, no problem. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Yeah, there are five positive response and one negative one. And the next expressions are how if we want to give services. Can I help you? May I help you? What can I do for you? Well, I think uh, the expressions are in general way. The responses can be, yes, please, don't bother, thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, now let me give you another example of um, how to use the expressions. Dialogue 2. Tanya works at a bus agent located at Arjosari Terminal. A stranger is walking approaching her bringing a suitcase. Hello sir, may I help you? Where is your destination? Yes, I need to go to Jakarta. How long will it take from the bus station? Is this Arjosari station? Yes, this is Arjosari bus station. It takes about 22 hours from here to Jakarta. What time will it leave? It will leave at 2.30 p.m. So you just need to wait for 45 minutes. Do I have to change buses after arriving in Jakarta? After arriving in Labak, Bulu's uh, terminal, you have a lot of optional to options to reach your final destination. Uh, you can get in Trans Jakarta bus, Metro Mini, Bajai, Taxi, as well as Ojek. You can ask the bus driver there. Thank you. I will, bus the bu I will buy the bus ticket then. Wait a moment, please. I'll process it quickly. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first expression is, Sir, may I help you? Okay. Uh, well, I think um, there is no other expression. Okay, now uh, let me give you another dialogue, the expression of asking uh, for services. Have you heard that the due date for the final project is extended? No. Is it true? Yes. It will be due next month. That's wonderful. I haven't even started yet. Would you need my help? No, thanks. I'll do it as soon as possible. I know that you are as busy as I am. Okay. Just let me know if you need my help. Now, we can see the expression of asking for services is would you need my help or maybe it is not asking for but it is giving services okay uh, the response is um, maybe not thanks I'll do it as soon as possible so it is negative response okay now dialogue 4 between two women Hamada and Diana it is uh, actually girl my extended family is going to a surprise birthday party for my grandmother next week. Wow, that sounds great. How old is she? She'll be 75 on August 13. Really? I didn't know that she was that old. I thought that she was still around 60. She looks much younger. 
thanks what if I help you with the preparation oh it's very nice of you but I'm going to do it with my sister thanks for the offer okay no problem well now take take a look at the expression of what if I help you with the preparation so it is clear enough that this is the expression of giving uh, the services but uh, when we take a look at the response the response is I am going to do it with my sister thanks for the offer so the response is negative response okay uh, now let me give you the questions for the for dialogue yeah there are actually 10 questions the first where do you think each conversation takes place okay number two well uh, there will be different uh, places from dialogue one to uh, four of course because they have got um, different situation the second is what are the relationship between the speakers the third what are the functions of the underlying words and the next what are the function of the italized word next is in dialogue one what does dr. Nada say to help Fafa what will do dr. Nada do to help Fafa next question is number six look at dialogue two what does Tanya offer to the stranger does the stranger accept Tanya's offer what does he say next is number seven who is offering a help in dialogue three what does he say is the offer accepted number eight in dialogue four what does Diana say to offer a help does her mother accept or refuse the help what does he say next write the patterns of offering help or services and the last is write possible responses for offering help or services okay students uh, I will ask you for fulfilling the task about one week and next week maybe we are going to discuss about the answer for the questions here okay I think it is enough for today and I hope you always be very healthy in this situation and be careful uh, I just want you to understand this that uh, this is very difficult situation to uh, face I hope you will always stay healthy and be careful with your life thank you very much for your attention see you next week Thank you.